That you mean will, like the wingtips? Uh, it depends on the situation. Like if you're following a truck on the highway, your largest. Let's talk about is, airplane. Forget about the truck. Let's talk about airfoil. Okay. Easier. Yeah. All right. So, you know. So we have a limit of flow, and then you you tubulate it, or it tubulates right away for whatever reason, and then you detubulate it, you laminar it. What we try to do, let, okay, let me kind of answer your question another way. See, if you want to get rid of skin friction on the wing, mm -hmm. keeping it laminar gets you so far. Right. If you want to do better than that, what do you do? You keep it slightly separated right. because your skin friction goes to zero, not low, but zero. Right. Now, how do you keep it slightly separated without it breaking up and mixing up? That's when you need the, the deturbulator. And if you can do that, then you can get extremely high L by D. Yeah, but how do you how do you get? I don't understand how you get rid of turbulence by. You don't rid of it. You get less turbulence. By that, what I mean. Oh, you're reducing the size of the turbulence. Yes, the size and, that, the, that, and the frequency. Uh -huh. And that's that's throughout the Reynolds number for from zero to a million or ten million or well, that particular Reynolds number. No, no, no. It'll work over a range of Reynolds numbers. I mean, not from zero to infinity, but you know, there will be a large enough range. Like, for example, you know, this is our test on the standard series, and you can see the red dots. This is L by D, glide ratio versus airspeed. Right. You see, it's not just at one speed. You're seeing the effect over a range of speeds. Of course, the effect is optimized at one speed, but it it remains and, but, at. But 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 mechanically changing the surface by serrating the surface, or what do you do? What we do is I uh, feel this. This is the flexible skin. Uh huh. Yes. Okay, and that is an essential part of the deturbulator. So, if you expose this to airflow, it will try to flutter like a flag. And what fluttering means is you see a whole bunch of traveling waves going across. And these are fairly, you know, the length of the wave depends on what scales the turbulence is feeding from. So, for example, on a wing, on an airfoil, the longest waves might be as much as the cord of the airfoil. Mm -hmm. And when that ultimately breaks down, it creates a lot of turbulence. And there will be intermediate uh, scales also. So, so what do you recommend taking an airplane that flies in 2 million rails number and having the skin covered with... Uh, Not all of it. You just need to put it in some critical in a, in areas. A critical area. Yes. What about, uh, say, Reynolds number below 100 or 100,000? Well, I mean, if it remains laminar, normally, you know, you don't fool with it. The turbulator has no business in it. Well, we increase the L over D by tubulating it. You can do up to a point. Depends on right. the airfoil. Depends I mean, up to a point. You're right. I mean, what L over D are you getting for the wing? About 40. Okay. Maybe even 60 sometimes. Like gliders, you know, big gliders. Well, and, and what, what aspect ratio wing? 50. Okay, this is an aspect ratio 20 wing, mm -hmm. right? Normal L over D was 33, and we pushed it up to 40. So you put a strip of that material? Yes, on the top surface. And you define the location by mathematical modeling or by experiment? Both. <laughs> That's fair enough. I mean, you go one way, and then, you know, your model is only can your exact conditions on the model don't match. So you always have to fine tune it. And in fact, this was tested by, see this is Soaring Magazine, May sure. 2007. 2007. And this was done by Dick Johnson. This is one of the last tests he did. And you can find the, you know, the results and all of that on my website too. If you take my card, it's right there. I'd like to very much. Uh, you teach at the University of... Uh, I used to teach at the University of Mississippi. Uh, right now I don't teach. 